How do they work? Emergency beacons. When a catastrophic event occurs, your beacon should be tethered to your body or kept nearby and then activated. Once activated, the beacon establishes a link with a global network of GNSS satellites. These satellites provide precise location tracking, and your location is updated regularly to ensure accuracy for search and rescue teams. Once your location is confirmed and fixed, the precise coordinates are sent, along with a specifically coded emergency message via a 406 MHz signal globally. This signal is received through the COSPAT SARSAT satellite network and transmitted to the nearest mission control center. The center then processes the signal and relays the alert to the most appropriate search and rescue organization. Depending on your location and status, search and rescue teams may also confirm the beacon status by contacting the registered emergency contact, helping to prevent false activations. Return link service enables a visual response once a 406 MHz signal is sent to a mission control center and search and rescue coordination is completed. A broadcast is then sent back to the beacon, providing the user with confirmation that the emergency beacon signal has been successfully received. Emergency communications, along with proper emergency equipment, can aid not only in surviving a catastrophic event, but also in safely extracting yourself to a more secure position and ultimately returning home. This makes EPIRBs, PLBs and similar technologies essential for being prepared before embarking on any journey. To learn more on how to stay safe in all your travels, please visit OceanSignal.com.